Season's greetings. Um, that's politically correct, right? There's no religious undertones or offensiveness for anybody. Well, maybe the atheists, but I, I think everybody else is good. Right? Yeah, it's pretty neutral. Okay. Season's greetings from Southern California. Today I'm making a savory sweet holiday treat that's sure to be a hit around the world at a trailer park near you. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> The holidays. A time of extravagance, decadence, and dealing with dysfunctional family members you only see once a year. So today, let's indulge with my white trash holiday clusterfucks. This recipe couldn't be simpler. Okay, first, we start with our, our generic party mix is what I have here. It's got corn chips and pretzels and little croutons and little white thingies that look like, I don't know what they look like, and goldfish. Um, you could use Chex Mix. You could use a combo of Chex Mix and peanuts. You could use Cheerios, Triscuits, Ritz crackers, whatever you want, but just keep it salty, crackery kind of a thing because that's gonna counterbalance the sweetness of our white trash component, white chocolate. See that? Yes. Okay. Now you could use milk chocolate or a darker chocolate, but then it really wouldn't be white trash because it would be not white. Then it would. Okay. And then to add a little kick, we're going to use a little bit of cayenne pepper from the cayenne pepper plant. Pepper. Now, this is a quarter teaspoon. Do not, trust me, do not use any more than this. This is uh, 20 ounces of chips. Any more than a quarter. <laughs> quarter teaspoon and you're going to be on fire. Now, if you're a dragon, then it doesn't matter. Uh, if you have kids, a lot of kids with this, I wouldn't recommend maybe the, the, the cayenne, but most adults uh, can handle it. It's just a little kick at the end. Then, to add a little freshness, a little bit of orange zest. It's a really nice counterbalance to the sweetness of the, of the chips, of the chocolate, and to the cayenne pepper. And so just a real nice balance. Like I said, this couldn't be simpler. We're going to melt our chocolate, we're gonna combine it with the party mix and we'll be rocking and rolling in no time. So now I'm going to melt the chocolate, the white trash white chocolate. I've got a little double boiler set up here, uh, just a Dutch oven with a little bit of water and a glass bowl. But you never wanna melt it directly in a pan because it'll burn and be all gross and nasty. You wanna use the steam from the water to heat the bowl to melt the chocolate. Into the bowl we go. You could microwave this. I'm not a real fan of that because it doesn't necessarily heat it evenly and sometimes some of it burns and some of it doesn't. If you can do it this way, you're gonna get the best results. You just wanna let it sit and you're gonna gently stir it every once in a while while it melts and stir it to combine the cayenne and the orange zest so you get a nice balance of flavor. And, uh, and then we'll combine it with our party mix in a few minutes and it's gonna be delightful, delicious, and decadent for the holidays. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight. Oh, jingle. Okay, so we're gonna get this into you know, a nice layer on the tray. Keep everything stuck together. You wanna, you wanna keep it all in one kind of a clump, I guess you would be the way to describe it, so that it'll all stick together when the chocolate cools. And then you let this sit and cool for about two, two and a half hours, depends on how warm it is in, in your house, and then you break it up into little pieces. Well, we don't wanna sit here and wait for that, so let me put this away real quick. Through the magic, of television. There we are, look at that. And here we have our white trash holiday cluster fucks. Oh yes, they're really good. They, they really are. They're, um, <laughs> mm, mm. I love the crunch. You have the little baby kick of the cayenne at the end, freshness of the orange zest, 
It's really nice. It's really, really good. Now, one thing. This is white trash. Who the hell puts it in some little bowl like this? I mean, that's ridiculous. This is something that you give as a gift. So, what you're gonna do, no, no fancy little, you know, gift bags, a Ziploc bag, right? And you're gonna put some in there. That's enough for one person, all right? You're gonna seal that up, all right? And then, it's white trash, so you've gotta, you've gotta include a beer with it. Get a nice little piece of duct tape, duct tape it to the can. So it stays on there, all right? Put a little bow on top. What doesn't say Merry Christmas than a beer and some white trash holiday cluster f***s, huh? Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. And like I said, it couldn't be simpler. All we have to do is melt our chocolate, combine it with our party mix, and we're rocking and rolling. So. I'm going to melt the chocolate. What I've got here is a little double. Look at this, mm, it's all melted and yummy gooey. I wanna just put my finger in there, but I won't. Put a little bow on top. I thought this had a stickiness. <laughs> I fucked that up completely.